Hello, this is Titanosaurus Productions, and welcome to Cancelled Kaiju Film Friday, where we look at giant monster films that were sadly never made, and they were all made in Japan. Well, mostly. Not this one, anyway. This one's from America. America. So, this American Godzilla film, which is called Godzilla 2, was going to be made by TriStar, the one who made that other Godzilla movie that we don't speak about. Well, I actually like it, but it's it's not a Godzilla movie. In my opinion, it's a good movie, but it's not a Godzilla movie at all. By any means, it's a terrible Godzilla movie, but I like it as just like a normal movie. But anyway, aside from my personal thoughts, let's get this over with because I want to get this done fast. Because by the time I finish filming this video, it might not be Friday anymore. Because I always do this really late at night, which is something I want to stop doing. But, let's get this over with. Alright, let's find it in here. That big book of Japanese giant monster movies, The Lost Films, which you should definitely buy on Amazon. I'm not, like, paid to promote this book, but I am going to reference it a lot because it's a really good book. Anyway, ret Return of... Gino, Godzilla 2, 2000, intended release date, 2000 to 2001. In case you don't know what Gino is, or Gino, whatever you want to call it, it stands for Godzilla in name only. Screenplay by Tab Murphy, proposed director Roland Emmerich, Pro proposed special effects director Volker Engel, proposed cast and characters Nico Tatopoulos, Played by Matthew Broderick, Phil Philippi Roach, played by Jean Reno, Anna Charlton, scientist, General Hicks, played by Kevin Dunn, proposed monsters, Godzilla, juvenile Godzillas, the runt, giant insects, queen insect, giant blue whale, and other assorted mutations. Story. Shortly after the death of Godzilla in New York, Nick Tatopoulos rescues and befriends a juvenile Godzilla before setting him free into the ocean. Two years later, Nick must re-team with Philippi Roach to determine if that same Godzilla is responsible for a set of mysterious disasters. Their search leads them to the Austrian outback, where they connect with Anna, a biologist studying a whole herd of Godzillas. When it becomes apparent the Godzillas aren't to blame for the recent events, and keep to themselves, the trio sets off for Monster Island, where the French nuclear tests created Godzilla. At the same time, a giant egg appears in Sydney. On Monster Island, the trio discovers the real culprits, a species of giant mutated insects. When they return to the outback, the military has killed all of the Godzillas but two, the adult and the runt, who escape underground. Later than... Later, when the insect queen descends upon Sydney, Godzilla shows up to battle it. The queen overpowers him and abducts Anna and heads for Monster Island. Philippi, Nick, and General Hicks head to the island. I hope I'm saying that name right. Philippi? Felipe. The, oh, I feel so stupid now. I think, I think that's how you say it. Anyway. Head to the island while Godzilla follows by sea. On the island, Nick rescues Anna from an underground hive along with many other captive humans, whom Godzilla rescue, rescues at the last second from the Queen. After defeating the Queen, Godzilla and the Runt are regarded as heroes and allowed to live by Hicks and the military. Well, that's it. Um, The giant insect thing was used for like the Queen Bee in Godzilla the series. And this was going to be, and since this wasn't made, Godzilla the series came after this instead, and they did still find that egg, except Nick made a bond with it. It's a, the series is definitely really good. Um, yeah. Probably would have been, probably is better than the sequel. Let's see. Um, let's see what we've got here.
Yeah, this, I don't know how to. I think it was the big budget that what that. Yeah, it was the movie was never made because of the big budget. They probably didn't want to risk it because it did so p- poorly in the box office when it was originally released. But anyway, that's all for this video. Next time, tune in to see Godzilla's take on the Ultraman episode, My Home is Earth, Godzilla vs. M. Goodbye.